Hey y'all, it's Bailey and welcome back to my channel. So today we are going to be talking about my October favorites and hateds. And I honestly totally forgot about this video. Usually I like to have these done by the end of the month. Uh, but clearly that did not happen this month. Or just like two days late, so it's fine. Um, but this month flew freaking by. I can't believe it's already November. My family's coming to town in less than three weeks to stay for Thanksgiving, which is super exciting. They've never come to visit me before. Well, my mom came once, but that is it well in my aunt and uncle came once but that's it um so I'm excited to have everybody in town um but we'll talk about that the end of the month I guess um but yeah this month flew by I can't believe it's basically Thanksgiving already can't believe it's basically Christmas question is it too early to decorate for Christmas I kind of like want to but I kind of don't I don't know anyways um let's get back on topic so today I'm just going to be sharing with you guys my makeup favorites I have some body favorites some hair care favorites and I have one hate it of the month so let's go ahead and get into it all right so let's start with beauty and I'll be honest past couple weeks I have been super super lazy when it comes to my makeup routine because I've just been waking up early for work and I'm just like I work with boys they don't care if I like don't wear makeup that day. I've got a little comfortable with that. So my makeup routine has literally been a little bit of mascara, some brow gel, and then this cream eyeshadow from Laura Mercier. This is just their rose gold caviar stick. I remember I used to be obsessed with these back in the day. I've had this one and I also had this like more of a really pretty cool tone taupey shade. Maybe April? No, I don't remember what it's called, but it's so pretty. It's probably still in my collection, honestly. But I've just been throwing this on, a little bit of mascara, a little lip balm, a little bit of brow stuff to keep the brows tamed, and like I'm out the door done. And it's been kind of nice because when you're like at work or doing whatever and you can like touch your face and be just like whatever kind of nice not gonna lie I will say though this has been creasing a little bit on me so I'll kind of like set it with a little bit of an eyeshadow just like with my finger and that seems to definitely help but I just have very like oily eyelids so I think that's mostly to do with it but that's been my makeup routine for the past like two weeks uh unless I'm like filming or doing something fun but on those mornings where I'm really feeling up to it and really wanting to like do something I have been truly loving my sultry palette from Anastasia I did a little review kind of like first impression with it and I've been using it you know since I used it today and I've been actually really really liking this and I think the consensus of this palette is that it looks way better in person than it does on like Instagram pictures or on YouTube or anything just because when I first saw it it just looked so boring like it truly looked boring especially compared to the oh now I broke it <laughs> anyways um but compared to the outer sparkly packaging which is gorgeous it's just a little like plain on the inside however the shimmers are so so beautiful and this is just a beautiful like cool tone sister palette I like to say to soft glam which is over there I don't feel like getting it but I'll get it okay just kidding I'll be our week. okay so here are the two palettes kind of compared so you can definitely see how soft glam on top is way way warmer versus sultry on the bottom I feel like sultry has a little bit more glitter to it as well like the shimmers and soft glam are more of like a metallic versus the shimmers and sultry which is definitely a little bit more of a glitter but the tones really are different but they do definitely like complement each other you guys know I love soft glam so I have been really into this I love the fact that it's cool tone I've seen some people review the palette saying it is another warm tone palette but I definitely don't see warm tones besides like bloom which is this coral obviously that's like warm tone and I mean I guess steampunk has a little bit of warmth to it but really not like it all just kind of works it's all pretty cool very taupey very just chill and I think that's nice I feel like cool tone palettes just aren't really on the market yet but I have a funny feeling they're about to blow up because everybody already has like 10 warm tone palettes so might as well throw some cool ones in there but anyways back to this palette I've been really liking it I really like the formula um the masks are super buttery super creamy just as you would expect from Anastasia and the shimmers in here are just like oh, they are my favorite especially um rose quartz I wore that to work the other day and I was looking at my eyeshadow in the mirror just checking things out you know and you can just see the glitter reflecting in the light and it kind of looked like one of those you know I think it's is it Pat McGrath or is it 
Natasha Denona or maybe both when they do um, Instagram tutorials where they have like a filter or something that makes the eyeshadows like sparkle. It was doing that but it was real life and I was just like oh my god yes. Now I will say though with that in mind if you do not like glitter you don't like a little bit of glitter fallout you might not like this palette because there's definitely a lot of glitter. I'll honestly say the only shimmers in this palette that don't have a ton of like chunkier glitter in it would be steampunk and antique. These two right here. Everything else is just a little bit chunkier and definitely has some bigger flecks of glitter but if you don't mind a little bit of sparkle and you want something cool tone I think this is an awesome little palette my favorite color is definitely twig this one right here it's a cool tone taupe brown totally matte beautiful in the crease and yeah I've been really really happy with this I honestly wasn't even expecting to purchase it let alone love it but I really really do so I think they did a great job with this my next makeup favorite is a bronzer and I've been switching up my bronze lately and I started to use my Laguna bronzer from NARS but this is their, what is it, it's like their sun washed collection. Don't quite know what the difference between like this one is versus their normal bronzer formula. I want to say this one is a little bit like smoother where that one has a little bit more of a powdery thing going on. And then this one has this fun little kind of like a chevron pattern in it. Well, mine's almost like gone, but it was there at one point. And this has been a total throwback for me because I remember when I first started watching YouTube back when I was in high school, um, this was like the bronzer to have so it's just a little throwback little little tbd if you will um no tb tbt and my last makeup favorite is an eyeliner. Super exciting stuff, I know. Um, this is from Pixie, and this is one of their Endless Silky Eye Pens in the shade Matte Mulberry, and I've been really liking this for my waterline because it's not as harsh as a black, it's not as boring as a brown, but it's like still adds a little bit of definition and intensity without being too much. So this is basically like a, I don't even know what you'd call it, it's a matte purpley cool tone brown? I guess it's very very creamy. The formula reminds me a lot of the Urban Decay pencils but a little bit less. Not super cheap. Not like drastically cheaper but a little bit less so you can just purchase it at Target. Um, and it looks really really nice in the waterline. I'm wearing it today. Oh I didn't even mention what was on my eyes. Oh my goodness. Also wearing the Sultry palette on my eyes in case anybody's wondering. I mix a little bit of birch and twig into the crease. I put ember all over the lid and then added a little bit of steampunk in like the inner corner just to give a little bit of dimension and then did a lot of dystopian in the outer and the lower and then fresh under the brow bone. And then I popped a little bit of this pencil in my waterline and I just thought it complemented the look really well. Definitely added that smokiness without being super super harsh like a true black would be. And I just think this is a cool unique color. And if you have green eyes I think this would make your eyes pop very very well so there you go. Oh and also it like it doesn't budge so I mean like it's it's not going anywhere. Awesome. Anybody else have these giant coffee mugs? I feel like the bigger the mug, the better the coffee, you know what I mean? And in case you're wondering, this one's from Target. I don't know if they still sell it. Uh, but it says messy bun and getting stuff done. Um, it also doubles as a very, very good uh, soup bowl. So, here you go. Okay, let's move on to hair. And I actually have three hair things when I never even usually have like one hair thing so this is a big deal y'all and funny enough I have no skincare I've just been using like the same old stuff and life has been good haven't really switched things up I did just use up my drunk elephant moisturizer so we're trying on a new moisturizer but we'll talk about that one next month um but anyways back to hair so I tried out this new shampoo and conditioner from Nexus this is the Carafix damage healing uh protein fusion blah 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 shampoo and conditioner and I got these in a Allure Beauty Box like forever and a day ago and I just forgot to use them because like you know trying out new shampoos isn't always the most exciting thing and I have like 10 shampoos in my shower right now not really I have three but that's still a lot and here's the honest story I found these when I was cleaning under my bed because I was like moving some furniture around and I was reading the back and it says you know repair level number five out of five so I was like yeah I need that my hair is super damaged so I figured you know what are we going to lose? And every time I use this, I kid you not, my hair is so smooth. And you guys know my hair is never smooth. My hair is so fine and so frizzy and it's just like turns into a, like a rat's nest. It do, rats don't even have nests. Jesus. Uh, you know what I mean. It turns into just like a little fluffy nest of like, ugh, ugh, not a good look. Um, but whenever I use these, 
it's so smooth. Like for example, today I used it in my hair and my hair is just so smooth that air dries smooth. There was maybe like 0.5% of frizz, which is a huge deal for me because my hair is super, super frizzy and again, super damaged. And my hair really does genuinely feel good. And I know how it is with shampoos and conditioners that like claim to do something and like it doesn't. You know, it's just washing your hair and conditioning and whatever. But no, these actually do what it's promoting it's going to do, which is just shocking, honestly. Um, so I am definitely going to continue using these and once I use up maybe another shampoo and conditioner that I have right now, I'll get a full size because my hair really agrees with this. So if you have dry, damaged hair or even like just frizzy hair, you just want something to smooth things out, definitely take a look at these because I honestly just see the biggest difference and it's still shocking to me. Another hair care product I picked up this month is from Carol's Daughter and this is their Almond Milk Ultra Moisturizing Hair Mask for Daily Damage. Again, I have a lot of damage in my hair. I've accepted it. We're trying to work with it. Um, and I picked this up because I ran out of my other uh, hair mask and this one was fairly like affordable. I think it's $15 at Ulta or Target or whatever and you can use coupons. Um, and I picked it up because I had good reviews and first of all it smells really really good. What does it smell like? It smells like it's bringing me back to something. I can't put my finger on it. This hair mask claims to be for extremely damaged over processed hair. It reverses damage which isn't like a thing but you know whatever. Uh, deeply nourishes which I'm a big fan of and it protects against further damage. It also says that there's no parabens, petroleum, mineral oil, or artificial colors. Does that mean there are sulfates in here though? Can conditioners have sulfates? Honestly I have no idea but what I do know is that I use this properly like every third or fourth wash whenever I just feel like my hair needs a little boost and it really works well. I think the price is right. It smells delightful and you get a lot of it so I like it. And my final hair favorite is this curling iron and I'm sure I've talked about this before on my channel but I've recently kind of changed the way I've curled my hair. I've been going for more of a softer little wave if you will and I get it using this curling iron. It's a Hot Tools. I think it's a one inch. It's a, like one of the bigger guys and I literally just take it and I just curl away from my face and I do keep it on a pretty high heat setting. I keep it at about 400 degrees which I know it's not good for your hair. Trust me I know but I only curl my hair twice a week if that. So I think it's like okay maybe. Um, I do that just because if I don't do it at a higher heat. My curls fall easier, especially when I'm doing a bigger curl. My hair is like not necessarily long enough. Um, but anyways, I've just been liking how my hair is looked. It looks just way more like blown out, if you will. It's really just this curl and iron, and it's not super, super expensive. I feel like these are always on sale around the holidays. So if you're interested in a new curl and iron, definitely look into this one um, and get it on sale. Okay, my last two favorites are body care favorites, and again, I never really have body care favorites, but I tried out two new things this month, and I really like them both. So the first one, I'll be honest, I literally tried out this morning, but I'm so sold on it just because, like, it's a body wash, spoiler alert, so I don't feel like you need to truly test out a body wash for too long because, like, you wash it off, it's fine, but the smell of this, it was kind of overwhelming in the best way possible. So this is from Rituals, and this is their Refreshing Foaming Shower Gel, and they sent fresh eucalyptus and rosemary and first of all this is super moisturizing. I just sprayed this on my loofah and just like lathered up and the consistency was so conditioning which I feel like not a lot of body washes truly are conditioning. They can be a little bit like drying in a way uh, but this one definitely was not and the smell of this just like went everywhere in my bathroom and it smelled like a spa. At first I was like not sure. It was like, it was a lot. So if you're sensitive to the scent, maybe not because this is strong. But once it kind of like developed, it was just kind of nice and relaxing. And I kind of wish I would have done this like step in my routine first. So the shower would have smelled like eucalyptus my whole shower. Uh, but yeah, just the smell of this. I'm a big fan. I really never thought I liked eucalyptus scent just because... I don't know, I couldn't really pinpoint even what that scent was, but I did think I liked it. It's like people that think they don't like avocados because they're green, but they haven't tried an avocado. Like, you don't know what you're missing out on until you try it. And, yeah, apparently I really like eucalyptus. It just felt like a spa, and I really, really like it. And I think this is something kind of cool and different. So that was a big win. And then my last favorite is something super exciting that we all love to talk about. Deodorant. 
I know. Um, so what was it? It was in like a disappointing products video. I included, it was like a La Vanilla um, sports deodorant, like healthy deodorant. I didn't like it because it didn't work for me. And in that video, I asked for some recommendations from y'all for natural, you know, aluminum free deodorants. And a lot of you guys said either, um, oh my god, what is it called? Native? Native or Schmitz and I was like okay well I'll go to Target and see if I can find Native because I knew that they recently came there um, or if I can find any of the other brands. I really wanted to try Native though because I've heard the most about that brand. I didn't see it at the time of my Target but I did find the Schmitz one so I smelled all the different scents and I decided to go with the Rose Vanilla and this actually works like instantly. It truly 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 works. It was to my understanding that natural deodorant, your body's kind of like get used to it, but no, that was not the case with this one. I put it on in the morning, I went about my business, and I smelled good. Plain and simple. Now I will say, next time I went to Target, they did have the native deodorant line on display, and y'all failed to tell me that that stuff is $12 for a deodorant. This was like four. So this one wins for me. Let's just say that. So this month's Hate It is from Kate Somerville, and this is their Retinol and Vitamin C Power Serum, and this is supposed to be a firming and brightening treatment. This was sent to me through Octoly for review. Um, it was just clearly a little baby sample. I used it for a few nights, and my skin just did not agree with it. First of all, I already knew my skin's pretty sensitive to vitamin C, and then I knew my skin would be probably more sensitive to retinol too, because um, it's just typically more dry, and retinol is a very intense ingredient so I used it for like every other night just keeping that in mind but even then my skin got super irritated over here which is like the problem spot if you will and I just oh, it hurt like my skin just hurt Hurt, and it just wasn't worth it so I changed back to my other routine and everything went back to normal so I do believe it was this and I just I like I understand the idea behind it but for me I would rather do vitamin C in the morning because it is going to brighten your complexion for the day and then it also helps your SPF work better and be more effective which is also a really good thing so to me I view vitamin C as definitely like a strong AM thing whereas retinol is a strong PM thing and I just think mixing them is kind of weird so this definitely did not work out for me but obviously everybody's skin is very very specific to them so maybe if your skin is a little bit more tolerant of these things it could definitely work for you but for me it's just it was two things that were just way too irritating and it just didn't okay. work. Alright y'all so those are all of my October favorites and haters for the month. I hope you guys liked the video. Let me know what you've been loving this month in the comments down below and I suppose that is everything and I will talk to you guys later. Bye!